Can Kemba Nelson once again make the Jamaican World Athletics Championships sprint team for the 2023 season? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, on ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Kemba Nelson performed in the women's well competed in the women's 100 meter finals at the all commons number 6 2023 meet held at the national stadium last saturday in this instance well she ran second in the women's 100 meters so do you think that Kemba Nelson, who now runs out of the elite track, elite track club, do you think she'll be able once more to make the women's 100 meter team for the upcoming World Athletic Championships in Budapest for the 2023 season? In the all comers number six women's 100 meter finals, it was Brianna Williams who won in the time of 11.04 ahead of Kemba Nelson, who took the second spot in 11.14 ahead of Ramona Burchell, who came third in 11.20. Clean start to bullet one for Brianna Williams. She gets up well. Also, trying is Ramona Burchell in lane six. Brianna Williams stole it away. Burchell trying to come back so to Kemba Nelson. Brianna Williams comes to the win. Kemba Nelson, who is experiencing her first year as a rookie, meaning her first year as a pro athlete, who now runs out at the Elite Track Club. Well, this year, her season's best over the women's 100 meters has been 11.10 seconds. This she did on June 3rd, 2023. But we all do remember her shocking, and I'm going to use that word shocking because I was one of the persons who thought she was going to shine at last year's national trials in the women's 100 meters, but I'm, I'm not joking. She shocked even me. Remember when she came second behind Sharika Jackson in the finals of the women's 100 meters at the national trials and ran that insane 10.88 seconds. Fifth time, the women's 100 meter finals. Natalia White, Natasha Morrison, Sharika Jackson, Nate Thompson, Hero, Brianna Williams, Ramona Burchell, Jonel Smith, Janine Smith, and Kemba Nelson. The set position now, once again. Set. Set. <laughs> and the way final time, and now Brianna Williams got a great start. Sharika Jackson is running superbly as well. Elaine Thompson, Hero, will have to come from behind. Kemba Nelson is finishing fast and furious. Sharika Jackson produces a. Now, clearly, we have not seen her run anything close to that. Her season best, as I said, is 11-1-0. So, will she be able to get back to that kind of form, that insane 10.88 that she ran last year? Now, at the Racers Grand Prix, we saw her lay down her season's best in the women's 100 meters of 11.10 and ended up in that fourth position Natasha Morrison looks as if she's rounding into form and getting back to that breakout year of 2015 Shasha Lee Forbes is getting dangerous as well Jackson, Jackson. Nelson the clear favorite here Spencer 10-8-2 this season on this track runs out of lane four set off they go very good start by Sharika Jackson Kemba Nelson is running well on the inside as well Sharika Jackson kicks into another gear goes away in imperial fashion the world championship silver medalist and the Olympic bronze medalist here she's at 50 clear of the field Nelson on the inside the field coming forward but Sharika Jackson MVP 10 set now it's the likes of Kevona Davis, who is the fourth fastest out of Jamaica thus far this season. Um, this young lady, Serena Cole. This young lady, Brianna Liston. Of course, Alana Reed. 
can't forget her brianna williams who seems to be improving of late tina clayton of the famous clayton sisters and of her of course tia clayton of the clayton sisters these are the persons that this young lady will have to get by to be able to make that that final not even the final to be able to get in to that women's four by 100 meter relay team and or run as a solo as she did last year at the 2022 world athletic championships now the truth is on paper she's the person who should be able to do this as i said last year out of nowhere she ran 10.88 now listen to be honest she was lowering her times from the ncaa championships i think it was the sec all the way down but that 10.88 people had the entire world holding its breath but we have seen nothing like that thus far this season and i understand and i've said it before that transitioning from an amateur or a collegiate athlete to a pro athlete is not an easy process not just physiologically but mentally this there's, there's a lot of stuff happening in the athlete's head and running that 11.10 she looked good to me but she really will have to get below 11 seconds as will probably be all these other girls now do i think she's capable of getting below 11 seconds by the national trials people this is Kemba nelson this is miss 10.88 and i believe she can go faster i can tell you what's happening in terms of her camp i can not tell you what's happening in terms of her process as an athlete remember she came out of the collegiate scene where they were running she was running like 40 50 races every year if not more and I know that last year her coach did work with her. She did. She ran a lot of races, but not as many as she had ran in 2021, which is one of the reasons why she was able to make the team. But I can't answer that. Like I said, you know, we we are heavy on statistics here. But the the truth is what I've learned recently from mem member me many of the members of my royal court here at Peter Lloyd World is that it really is going to be who is best on the day and this is going to be a hard one because I really think that our national trials is kind of kind of is going to be like world championships the talent pool is unimaginable but on paper this young lady is the fourth fastest Jamaican on paper with that 10.88 you know um in recent times i should say in the last two or three years uh natasha morrison has run i believe 10.87 but on paper she should be in terms of the younger athletes the athletes below 25 she should be the one who should more than more than likely get there but i don't think it's going to be a walk in the park for her it's going to be tough because brianna williams is coming tina clayton i mean the fact that um, Steve Francis has sought a lot down Tina Clayton. You know something is up. We can't count out Tia Clayton. Um, Kevona Davis is looking really good. I've been saying that. I'm not even going to count out Ashanti Moore. I didn't even put her in the, in the, in the montage of athletes. We don't know what a Brianna Liston will do if she turns up. This is going to be a tough one to call people. But I think on paper, if Kemba is able to reproduce that 10.88, clearly she's going to make the team. But this, of course, is my two cents. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Do you think she can make the team this year? Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens, bless up.